there are five types of parameters in Revit. Built-in parameters are hard-coded in Revit and cannot be removed, renamed, or modified. Project parameters are used to assign new parameters to any category of elements inside a Revit model. Family parameters are created inside families. Shared parameters can be shared among multiple families, projects, and tags. Global parameters can be used inside of a project to control multiple parameters at once. Look at this image to understand these parameters, including where they can be used, if they can be tagged, and if they can be scheduled. For example, a project parameter can be scheduled but cannot be tagged. If you want to tag it, you'll have to use a shared parameter instead. 11 tips to understand parameters. Tip number one, you cannot modify built-in parameters. Built-in parameters for both type and instance cannot be renamed or removed. They are hard-coded in Revit and will be there forever. There are built-in parameters for both the instance and type of an element. For example, we enter the type properties of a wall. Both the manufacturer and description are considered built-in parameters. Tip number two, select type and instance, group, type of parameter and category. In this example, we will create a new parameter inside of a family. Click on this icon. First, you need to enter a name to your parameter. Then, you need to select the type of parameter. The type of parameters most commonly used are text, yes and no, length and number. In this example, we select text. Then, you need to select the group. Here, we use data. Usually, you would need to select the category. But since we are inside of a family, this is not necessary here. Let's go back to our project and go to the Project Parameters menu in the Manage tab. You can see that if we create a new parameter, you'll need to select one or multiple categories to which the parameter will be assigned. In this example, we select walls and windows. Tip number three. User-created family parameters cannot be tagged or scheduled. Let's complete the door family we have been modifying and load it into our project. The parameter called rptestParameter is visible inside the door type properties. Let's go to our door schedule and try to add this parameter. As you can see, this parameter isn't available to pick from in the fields menu. The reason is that this is a family parameter. To schedule parameters from a family, you'll need to use shared parameters instead. Tip number four, create a new shared parameters file. If you want to tag and schedule user created parameters from families, you'll have to use the shared parameter feature. The first step is to create a .txt file. Go to the shared parameters menu, located in the manage tab. Create a new text file. Name it and make sure to place it on your local network so it can be accessed by all users. Do you want to step up your career and become a great BIM manager? This video is part of our Manage Learning Package for Revit. This exhaustive course will teach you advanced Revit strategies to smoothly run your projects. You will learn how to create a great Revit template, how to properly manage data, how to keep healthy Revit models, and how to automate borrowing tasks by using Dynamo or other plugin. Manage includes a beautiful and efficient ebook, a full video tutorial series, our pro Revit template, and challenges to test what you've learned. Join thousands of users and get the Manage package at revitpure.com manage. Tip number five, create a new shared parameter. Once your shared parameter file is ready, you are ready to add shared parameters inside of it. First, create a parameter group. We'll call the group doors. Then click to create a new parameter inside this group. Call it frame color. Make sure the type of parameter is set to text. You cannot modify the type of parameter once the parameter has been created. You'll be forced to delete the parameter and start all over again. If you want, you can add a tooltip to indicate to your users how to use this specific parameter. Finally, click on OK to complete the shared parameter creation process. Tip number six, assign new shared parameter in family. You have created a shared parameter, but you are not done yet. Once again, you'll need to go to the family type menu and create a new parameter. At the top of the menu, select shared parameter instead of family parameter. Then click on the select button. Select the shared parameter you have just created. You can choose how to group this parameter. We'll use text for the moment. The other options are grayed out. Click on OK and load the door family back into the project. Tip number seven, shared parameters inside a family can be scheduled in a project. 
go back to your door schedule. As you can see, you can now add the frame color parameter to the schedule. Something to be mindful of, if you add a shared parameter directly inside of a family, only elements from the specific family can have a value set to this parameter. For example, the first row in the schedule represents the double door family, which doesn't have this specific parameter. Therefore, you cannot add a value to the frame color parameter for this row. However, it does work with the single door family we've just created. In this case, we enter color red. Tip number eight, be careful with internet families with lots of shared parameters. The downsides of using lots of shared parameters inside families is that many internet families you can download on websites such as BIM objects are made by clueless people, including dozens of useless shared parameters. Every time you create a schedule, DOM parameters are available as potential fields. In this example, we have a window family that has been downloaded on BIM objects. It contains hundreds of useless shared parameters. If you load this family into your project and create a window schedule, you can see all these dumb useless parameters. That's why you have to be careful with families made by manufacturers. Ideally, you should create your own family library. If you still want to use a family you found online, make sure to clean it and remove all the junk parameters. Go to the family type and click on the pencil icon to modify one of the parameters. You can switch it from shared parameter to family parameter, which means it won't be available in the window schedule anymore. Tip number nine, create project parameter to affect all families in a category. In the previous tip, we showcase how to create a frame color parameter in the single family. What if you have 50 window families and you want to add this parameter to them? You could modify all families individually, but that would be long and boring. That's when project parameters can be helpful. You can find this tool in the Manage tab. Click on Add to create a new parameter. Then you have to pick between Project and Shared. In this case, a shared parameter will allow you to use tags, but both options allow parameters in schedule. We'll use Project Parameter for the moment. We create an instance parameter called Test2, which is grouped under Dimensions and set to the Windows category. Now, every single window in the project has this test2 parameter assigned to it. Tip number 10. Use shared parameters to create tags for user-created parameters. Now that you have created multiple shared parameters inside your family, maybe you want to create a tag for that parameter. Let's use the frame color parameter example once again. Create a family and use the door tag template. Add a new label inserted on the Reference Planes intersection. Click on this icon to add a shared parameter. Select the frame color shared parameter. Enter a sample value. Add a masking region to complete the tag frame. Load this tag family back to your project. Click on the simple door which has the frame color parameter embedded inside of it. The parameter value should appear in the tag. You can click on the blue text value to change the parameter value. You can also enter the type properties of the door to modify the value. Tip number 11, create a smart system to name your parameters. In your template, you should use a smart nomenclature system to classify shared parameters. This way, it's easy to know which parameters you created and which parameters are alien spam from garbage families. Here's an example of a prefix you can use. Category letter dash number dash parameter name. If you have many parameters, using a number can help. Remember that you can always rename the parameter inside schedules so that this name can remain an internal value. Using Diroot's Parameter plugin and Revit, there's no way to quickly add multiple shared parameters to a project or to a family. Instead, you have to add them manually, one by one. Diroots created a free plugin called Paramanager, which allows you to automate tedious parameter tasks. In this example, we add five new parameters at once and give them a name. Set them to instance. Click on Next, then click on Assign Categories. 
In this example, we use the rooms category. Finally, click on apply to complete the process. As you can see, each room now has these parameters assigned to them. This video is an excerpt from our managed learning package for Revit. Get the full course to unleash hundreds of Revit tips on topics such as schedules, global parameters, model health, project browser, Dynamo, and much more. Get the full package at revitpure.com manage.